I'm, uh, hello and welcome to Frank School, 166th day, first video, first and only video, I think. I'm going to put two videos together, and I think that'll work. I'll call it just one video. I want to give an update on contour gardening. Uh, earlier in the year, I showed you how I began to garden on a contour, on a perfect contour. But I'm going to go back over to that other farm, and I want to show you, film for you, what I've done there. Uh, <laughs> I planted plants that will spread all over the place. I didn't plow it. I didn't rototill it. I didn't work it up. All I did was I took a shovel and took a glee bout, a sod, flipped it over, and a day later broke it in two directions and threw it back in the hole. <laughs> then I bought plants that spread out. Watermelon, watermelon, uh, cantaloupes, cucumbers, zucchinis, uh, squash. I'll end up putting uh, pumpkins in, but they weren't ready. 65 plants, more or less. 64, 65 plants. I put some cabbage in, too, because I just, I've just i never really gardened before. And that is good soil. But anyway, what I did then was I, uh, I put... I was cleaning up uh, uh, a, uh, an old house trailer. It's one of the nastiest things I've ever cleaned up. Uh, I, I'll call it decommissioning a house trailer. Somebody had offered... Uh, the owner uh, some money to she understood to clean it up. Well, what they all they did was take the aluminum off it for recycling, the aluminum siding and the aluminum roof, and so there it had soaked for years, for I don't know quite a few years. I'm a big mess. I mean, all the insulation getting wet, the plywood floor rotting under pieces of vinyl flooring. Anyway, I've, I've been working on cleaning it out, up, and I just about have it. And it's right there by the garden. Don't do that. Um, and uh, and uh, I'd come to these pieces of vinyl uh, skirting. Uh, they'd left them behind because they wanted the aluminum. They left whatever was vinyl behind. And uh, pieces about like this, various sizes. And so what I did with them is I laid them on the plants, like, like this way and that way. And I knew they'd blow off in a big wind because they were light. They, it's nice that at least they were white. So then I set a tire over them. <laughs> uh, and when I ran out, um, I was surprised and actually delighted it used them up. Uh, then I went to drywall scrap. I had some pieces of drywall from when I was doing this that I hadn't got around to yet. Pieces that, that looked like this. And I put them below and above and beside and beside. I started to cut them and break them too uh, because I was running out. And uh, I figured, hey, that's like lime, it's gypsum. I think it's good for the soil. It's white. I laid them, <coughs> and I put tires over them. <coughs> I was going to use rugs. That was my original plan. And I did have rugs, but I was going to have to cut old rugs. These are all things that would be heading to the landfill. <coughs> and if they can get another use before going to the landfill, that is would be an example of extreme recycling. <clears throat> it can also reduce kilocalories. The kilocalories used to make uh, more stuff or to plow up a garden. Um, <clears throat> I won't do this, but it occurred to me that, because I'll be in Europe, but if a wicked frost were coming, I could take window glass and lay it over the tires. Because I, I've yeah, no one seems to want window glass. You can't really recycle window glass. Nobody knows what to do with it. Well, uh, I have a lot of it. Uh, <clears throat> and whether it's in a sash or just a, a pane of glass, you could lay it over the tire, and there you've got a little mini greenhouse um, and, you know, until you get to the warm season and just let, take it off and store it for next year. Well, I had to gather up 64 or 65 tires, but... <laughs> old no good tires, but on farms that's fairly common um, uh, and uh, you know their expense you can't get money for them it costs you a dollar and a half maybe two dollars per tire to recycle it so a lot of people they're just not willing to do it well I want you to see that um, and then uh, I have these are things this is something I pulled out of the uh, list over there of what's in the course kilocalories as currency I, I, if I had, if if it had been dry today or yesterday, I would have mowed the grass. And the I, my idea is to mow the grass ahead of where these spreading plants will spread. But it was wet, and actually, I did mow it one time. And it occurred to me that with that one mowing, if I used a gallon of gas, 
That's 250 man hours in kilocalories, in CACs, and kilocalories is currency. It's the equal. And, uh, you know, I don't, I probably have 10 man hours in the whole garden. And just in riding over and riding back, it's about three miles away, just going over and back. I'm using way more kilocalories than uh, I would have to use. And, of course, if I had plowed it or if I had rototilled it, all of that would have used gas and it would have been more kilocalories as, as currency. Uh, I don't actually think I have to mow it. I have other things that I can lay down on the grass as a, as a mulch. I don't have any more vinyl or I, the rugs. I, I, maybe I will use the rugs or even old black plastic that, that I've got. Well, uh, I'm going to go over there, and it's raining now, so I, I don't know how much filming I'll do, but, but that's the only thing, just to give you an update on what's going on with the contour gardening. Uh, so uh, I hope it works out, and uh, I'll see you after, uh, uh, after I get back from Europe. Bye now. Well, there's where the house trailer was, and uh, I'm actually using contour gardening as a way of uh, recovering, reclaiming that ground. I've planted oats and, uh, no, barley and uh, clover, and it's coming up there. But more vinyl. This is what I'm talking about, vinyl. Uh, these long pieces, I, I, I hate to just put them in a dumpster. There's that and, uh, and other pieces. I mean, this truly was a <clears throat> very disgusting job. Um, even those pieces of plywood. Hey, you know what? I could use them as, as mulch. Here's my uh, rug supply. I had laid the rugs down here because I didn't have time to, to, to get after that to control these weeds. Uh, and same there. I would mow this if I were going to be here. And there's rugs. They're covering a place where there was an old spring house. And the spring is over here. This is archaeology, I guess, uh, which I'm slowly recovering. That was dumped down in the spring when it was filled in. All right, now, the garden. Here are my tires. Isn't that ugly? Uh, but I think it'll work. Here's a cabbage, it looks like, and there's four pieces of vinyl over a tire. Uh, what's that? I'm not sure. I ought to maybe lift this. There we go. Uh, that's better. Um, oh, and in the... Uh, in the ditches, once they went dry, once again I planted barley and clover. To my surprise, this spring that supplies it doesn't run <laughs> all summer. I thought it ran year round. It's running right now, but uh, it, it'll go dry. Now there's drywall that I've used, pieces of drywall uh, when I ran out of the other. It'll be interesting when I come back to see what this all looks like. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the plan really don't know what I'm doing. I, I have heard of somebody else using tires, though. Uh, not with the vinyl, not with the drywall, but using tires. Um, and there's a piece of plexiglass, broken plexiglass I put on there just to show you what could be done. I guess I'll leave it there as an experiment to see how that grows differently from the one that's not covered. All right. Oh, and finally, oh, my gosh, there's plants I forgot to plant. I'll have to take them. Um, let's see if I lower the camera, if it, once again everything goes straight. Yeah, of course it does. All right, darn, I wish I'd remembered about those plants. Oops, my hat, I'm use my hat to keep the camera out of the rain. All right, uh, that's it.